We're checking in, taking inventory, and packing up. We're even hunting for a little stone. I'm Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Everyone here is in a mad dash preparing for the Desert Rose Inn install. I'm going to seriously die. We've been working on the resort expansion for about eight months now, overseeing the construction and being involved with every critical decision along the way. Can we get a door like that? We've presented our design ideas and pushed hard to see every one of them implemented. On this side, Kill X, me. X. Killing me. This is where you need it. We have our grand design for the fireplace, built in and ironwork, but purchasing at these unique sizes, well, it's impossible. So it had to be custom manufactured. Scott's been the project manager for the resort, and he's done a great job following up with all our contractors. Three or 3.30? I was just thinking about um, swinging by to come down and take some pictures. Luis is my MVP. He can make anything and everything. I dream it, he can make it. Anything in the background look slightly familiar, like maybe a giant mirror? Right now we are at Oscar Peralta, his um, woodworking shop, and he's the one that does a lot of our custom, or most of our custom built-ins. We have behind us here the built-in that's gonna go in the lobby for the uh, Desert Rose Inn and Cabins. You wanna get a sneak peek of what it's gonna look like? Good, because we needed to make an instructional video for Amr and the crew in Utah anyway. We're gonna have this put on a truck, palletized, and then shipped across country. So, let's see how it's done. Because the built-in has lights in every single shelf, he's making all of the channels between the built-in pieces where all the cables can run up and down. It. This 15-foot by 13-foot display piece is crafted in a series of parts. Oscar has truly outdone himself this time. And this is the built-in that's gonna go inside of the lobby at the Desert Rose Inn and Cabins. Have you ever done a built-in this big? <laughs> this is for a big person's house. Ropes and Design was commissioned to articulate the environment and color scheme of the inn through five exceptionally large oil paintings. We basically locked Grayson in the garage for two months. When we opened the door to give him a little air, we found he was able to complete one, two, three, and four. Sorry, Cindy, slight change in plans for painting number five. So I called Rebecca on a whim. I had worked for her many, many years ago and uh, was wondering what she was doing and she happened to have a project that she needed help on really quickly. I find the differences between Grayson and Edmund's painting styles fascinating. You have one that's meticulous and engineered, keeping all of his paints separated in his workstation in tip-top shape. And then the other with mixed up paints, a seemingly improvised layering style, and a bucket full of brushes. Mm, semi-chaotic but indeed, both producing masterful results. At the same time, we're working with our framer, Jeremy. Do you remember Jeremy? Do you have anything to eat, like a candy machine or anything? Uh, Just saying. You should have I a coffee have shop. Really good grapes, but it's probably warm in the car now. Oh, that does not sound very good. Jeremy and the Tattooed Legion at Artware, they're helping us with a very specialized reproduction procedure. What candy bar? You don't have a candy bar? Oh, diet. oh my gosh! Oh my Didn't you gotta throw that in my face? We're having all of these paintings scanned and printed onto canvas. Once we decide on the finish, we'll be ready to go into reproduction. Yes, I am on a diet again. But I hate it. Shirley's Draperies is again our source for all of the window treatments for this project. It's such a high volume with quick turnaround that they have the whole family coming together on this. And speaking of family. It doesn't have to be extravagant. In a perfect world, we want to get as much as we can for the amount of money we have, but this yeah. is one. The money issue's not gonna change because here's the thing, they're dollars over budget. 
Who can you count on in time of crisis but family? I mean, no one else will even pick up the phone. We are coming out of the water three weeks until yeah. I fly out to begin the install. Here's the deal. Amr doesn't have a mason to complete the fireplace or the arch. And with the budget issues, he's seriously considering using an economic material to finish it up. These pictures from down here are from today. Oh, so we're seriously only at this point right yes. now. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's bad. So I've called in Uncle Sam. Not the one with the power of Congress, but our Uncle Sam. They gave me choices of stone, and of the choices, that was the best one. With his short timeline and funding challenges, he's the last chance to get it right. I think it's ugly, but it's better than this. Hello, look at this. Can you tell we're excited? Maybe, and I don't know if this is possible, but maybe I should contact my source at El Dorado Stone. I could have an ace up my sleeve. Right now the dam has just opened up and the water's coming, so I guarantee you he will put the hardwood flooring in that lobby if we haven't broken ground and started this fireplace. So calling El Dorado and back and forth, we have three weeks until I go there to install this entire thing with you. Hi Shelby, this is Rebecca Robeson with Robeson Design in San Diego. I'm still going to make a phone call, it doesn't hurt, you just never know. Do you recall our recent um, communication with each other? Okay, do you have a minute? Here's what I have to do. I have to talk El Dorado Stone into donating. Enough stone for this, you know, rather small, actually huge fireplace. No kidding, we use their products all the time. They are amazing and I love them. <laughs> Seriously. I'm not the one who would make that decision, but I can definitely pass it along to the person that will be and I'll be able to get you a response very shortly. Awesome. Thank you so much, Shelby. Nice talking You're to welcome. you. You're welcome. Thanks for the phone call. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. We'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to lose, right? I'll put links below if you guys want to check out their boards on Pinterest. Let me know what you think. Let them know what you think. It could only help. Back at Artware, Jeremy and the team are diligently working to have our recreations stretched and framed in time for the truck's departure. They are printed, matted, specially framed in real wood, sanded, shaped, and expertly secured. So nothing is out right now. If I gave you my card and you saw any more of these, we can't do that. Oh. <laughs> we can't do that. I bought one of these pillows. Uh huh. Already, and I uh, in Poway, and then I drove out here to get more, and you only had one. Right. And I know you have stuff that comes in all the time. If I gave somebody my card, is there a chance someone could contact me? If you don't get the answer you wanted the first time, ask, ask, and ask again. You'll be here, and someone will come across wanting to buy it, and then you'll have to yank it out of their hand well, and say, "Oh, the, I have something that has been, been waiting for that." <laughs> That's the answer I was looking for. Help and would you like to donate to childhood cancer today? Sure. And how much would you like to give? A million dollars. <gasps> oh, we have a million. There's no one here to even appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to donate a million, but I'll donate two. Thank you, my dear. Not two million, two dollars. Bring the bill. You're going to get a big thank you just from me, apparently. <laughs> one of the efficient ways we can shop as designers is to utilize our wholesale sources by calling on our reps. Coral is our rep from Bassman Blaine. We order a lot of our accessories and lighting from them. This might work for the resort too. I just looked through it this morning real quick before I came over here. Many of these reps have multiple brands that they carry and Coral here has some good ones. Coral, I like mm -hmm. these, these pokey okay. ones. She came to my office with all of her resources and spent pretty much an entire day with me making sure that all of my selections were available and deliverable on or before our deadline. She's a trooper, that one. And as I mentioned, we're actually responsible for getting these things that we've had custom made shipped to Utah. We've got one truck, fully packed. We are ready to go. See you in Utah. Subscribe. 3109. That's again 619. 3109. All right, thanks, Amber. Six, five, four, three. Oh, no. Eight, seven, six, five, three, <laughs> nine. <laughs> three, five.